what is up guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more f1 2020 my team season four we're doing a sprint race season we are in episode three or four so this is the penultimate episode we have eight more grand prix waiting for us as you see here with the season results we have the british grand prix belgian spa grand prix monza and sochi in this episode and then we have the Japanese, USA, Mexican, and Brazilian Grand Prix in the final episode. So before we do anything else, we must renegotiate the, the contract with our teammate. Oh, declined. Hold on a second. Uh-oh, this is not looking good. He has declined the offer. Anyway, let's take a look at our R&D progress. Of course, our powertrain chassis and aerodynamics departments are all full right now. Durability is working on one element. And as we spoke in the previous episode, we're going to make our way around energy store durability. Standard development will do. It'll come before the uh, UK Grand Prix. Okay, we try again next day let's see if max verstappen will sign with us he signed okay thank goodness max verstappen signs for the rest of the season he just wanted to get a little more money by the looks of it with the remaining funds that we have at our disposal i think i want to improve our sponsor relations improve a claimant uh, speed by 20% faster. Okay, so let's invest the money in that. So our two durability upgrades have come in and I think we should have enough points for our final durability upgrade. We should be spawning enough resource and development points um, to prepare for the regulation changes if they do come. So let's just get the standard. It'll arrive before the next Grand Prix, which is the Belgian Spa Grand Prix. So we should have a fully kitted car by the end of this episode. So we're going on into the Silverstone circuit for the race weekend and let's see how well we do here. Our qualifying lap is not good enough. We are on a dry setup and that is why we did not do as well as the others. But I am hoping that all the other cars on the grid today have a wet setup on. So that means we should be able to overtake them easily with a dry setup tomorrow because the race is going to be a dry all around weather race. So let's head on in and hopefully we can do better than P17. No more BS in this circuit anymore. P17 starting position at the Silverstone circuit. Let's see if we can improve on this at the UK Grand Prix. And off we go. Five red lights. Let's see if we can improve on that. Ooh, great first turn around the outside of everyone. P12 now. Dive bomb into turn two. We take the McLaren. We're in P8. Okay. We can manage this. Let's see if we can overtake a bunch of these fools. Alright, lap one done. We're still in P8 right behind Gasly and Schumacher. It's not looking good for us as we are still slower. A lot slower now. Mike Schumacher is running away with it. It's been a shambles of a Grand Prix as we come to the finish line here. Finishing P8. Our first couple dive bombs in turns 1 and 2 improved our position, but in the end, P8. Alright, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. So 
So here are the results of the British Grand Prix. Max Verstappen with the fastest lap and P1. Bottas and Hamilton round out the podium positions in the Mercedes. Ricardo, Pierre Gasly, Russell, Schumacher, ourselves, Albon, and Kivya to round out the top 10 points positions. Let's take a look at the standings. We still maintain our P2 standings in the driver's standings, but we are one point ahead of Hamilton. Hamilton is catching fast with his podium finish today. Constructor standings wise, we are still in the lead, but Mercedes have overtaken Red Bull racing to take P2 with a 110 point gap between us so it is getting tight now and it is the latter half of the season so let's see what happens in the next Grand Prix so we're back at HQ before the next Grand Prix but if you take a look here we have the fully kitted out car available to us all upgrades have been achieved everything has been triggered and included in our car so we have the best possible car on the grid if you guys see here progress history we are way ahead of everyone else so there's no real reason for us to be far behind except for my bad driving against the ai's immaculate driving now with the remaining money that we have in the bank 15 million uh, i think i want to trigger i think i want to do fitness center and then we'll do the other facilities and fully max out our facilities as well it is the season break now so let's start the season break and then we'll see each other for the belgian grand prix afterwards nothing more to trigger it is time for the belgian grand prix we are strong on this circuit so let's see where we place for the race and let's see if we can get another podium finish here With qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves of our top three. Verstappen, Lucky and Valtteri Bottas. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. We're in Belgium once again for today's round of the Formula One World Championship. It's a race the great Ayrton Senna won six times and in 2019 Charles Leclerc became the first driver to take their maiden win here since Michael Schumacher in 1992. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position and Lucky completes the front row. What a great starting position, great qualifying session to see us in P2 for the start of the Fra Francochamp circuit, Belgian Grand Prix. Five red lights drop and off we go. Rich and Overtake engaged as we get a decent start. Neck and neck with Verstappen himself going around the outside. Oh, Max Verstappen got taken out by the looks of it. Nah, he's had a poor exit and he is behind us off we go in p1 let's see if we can maintain this up the oil rouge oh god that was corner cutting that's fine my bad i slipped you rouge or you rouge is that how you say it I'm trying to learn all the turns on the f1 tracks oh got a nudge from someone from behind i think max verstappen hit us was that my fault we will see afterwards But we keep going. Oh, Lando Norris is out of the session. Interesting. All right, we're looking good so far. Here we go. Now down this fast straight before the start finish straight. Let's keep this momentum going, as Jeff says. There we go, fastest lap, lap one. So let's see if we can beat that record in lap two. Another run up, you rouge. Little slip there, but we managed it nicely. You see, I can do it. Oh, keep your eyes on the road suit. Ooh, a little loss of the back end as we exit that turn, but we still mark the fastest lap with a 
Oh, Botas stole it. 141.4. Max Verstappen steals it again. 141.3. Here we go, last lap of the Grand Prix. We are way ahead of Albon and the rest, but I'm gonna try and get the fastest lap of the Grand Prix on this lap. I don't know if I can. 140.9 is gonna be hard to beat, but we'll, we'll see. Final couple of turns at the chicane. Let's see if this can beat it. No, we can't. Maybe? Did we get it? I think we got the fastest lap. You worked hard for that one. Congratulations. The faces on our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. A much deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all. All right, so we get P1 after the Grand Prix today. Uh, now the question is, do we get the fastest lap? Because I think I saw my name turn purple at the end of the lap. So let's see if that is the case here. Unlucky, Max Verstappen steals the fastest lap. We get P1, Albon, and Bottas round out the podium positions. Ricardo Verstappen, Schumacher, Stroll, Sainz, Russell, and Leclerc round out the top 10 points positions with Max Verstappen getting the... Fastest lap, darn it. Anyway, uh, we move on to the driver standings. We are 52 points behind Max Verstappen, 149 for us and 201 for him. Constructor standings wise, we are still in the lead. Mercedes in second and Red Bull racing in third. Alpha Tari is now in fourth and McLaren in fifth. So it is still a tight race. We move on to the next Grand Prix. Back in HQ and now it is time for Monza, the Italian Grand Prix. So there's nothing else we can really do right now. We're going straight on into the race weekend and I'll see you guys at the race. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix once again, here at the beloved and iconic Autodromo Nazionale di Monza. With the lowest downforce and drag of any circuit in the season, expect to see drivers making the most of the slipstream effect here today. We're 12 miles northeast of Milan for today's Grand Prix at a Monza circuit where we can expect top speeds of around 215 miles per hour. 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with seven of those coming in the form of chicanes and with a good slipstream and DRS open, there should be plenty of opportunity for some passing here today. the back of a fantastic qualifying session it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race lucky lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside considering the rest of the grid we have Verstappen Norris George Russell and Sainz Hamilton Leclerc Fiat and Esteban Ocon Ricardo Stroll Antonio Giovinazzi and Gasly Albon Perez Jack Aitken and Nick De Vries Magnussen, Latifi, Matsushita, and Mick Schumacher. And now it's time to head down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Great starting position at pole position for the Monza circuit. Italian Grand Prix, five red lights shine in Monza and off we go. Immediately rich and overtake engaged as always. Get a great run out of there. Botta splitting the two Su Motorsports cars. Gets a decent run out there as he maintains his P2 position. A little ex uh, block up in turn one, the first chicane. We can patch that in the next round, but it is looking good so far. Overtake engaged as we continue to storm ahead in P1. Another chicane, nicely taken. A little bump there, but that is okay. Nicely done to hit that apex there. Ah, broke a little too much there as Botas comes in the attack right on our outside but we have the inside line so we have the straight line speed here as well to overtake him again keep our position and pull there we go still storming ahead Bottas behind us Verstappen close behind Verstappen is the one I'm worried about so thankfully Bottas is in the way here we go lap one is complete 
Botas is right behind us, so I'm gonna mark the inside line here. Protect our inside line against Botas. Verstappen is on the attack on Botas. Great take of the chicane, and Verstappen, I think, is overtaking Botas here. No, Botas protects. He does well. Here we go, end of lap 2, we mark another fastest lap, all purple sectors. Verstappen has just overtaken Bottas before that turn, so on that hairpin, he overtook Bottas. Now, it's a fight between the Sioux Motorsports boys. Oh no, he's within DRS range, Max Verstappen. We gotta pull, pull away from him, please. Ooh, Max Verstappen is right on our tail and DRS should be enabled. Max Verstappen gets the fastest lot. So he has... Oh my goodness, it's the final lap of the Grand Prix. And Max Verstappen overtakes us, giving him a little squeeze on the outside, but we have the inside line. Outbreak him at the chicane. Get the better run out of there. Let's hope. Good. We maintain our P1 position on the last lap of the Grand Prix. Let's see if we can maintain this. Alright, took that turn well. Ah, Max Verstappen's right behind me. He's attacking us. He's on the outside line. Can we keep up with him? I think that was a track extension. Is that a track extension? I don't know. But we're not given the warning, so we proceed guarding the inside line as we make the final turn and it is it this is it oh my god Max Verstappen and myself it's a photo finish that's a race win and your second race win in a row fantastic job Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. Valtteri Bottas did well to stall Max Verstappen for a couple laps, but that was way too close. That was a photo finish at the uh, at the end line. I think I squeezed. I, I think I squeezed Max Verstappen a little too much at the end. We will see. If I did, I'm so sorry. We'll see what happened. Here are the standings for the Italian Grand Prix. So, myself and Verstappen get the two top positions with Bottas rounding out the podium. Hamilton, Norris, Kvyat, Russell, Sainz, Leclerc, and Alcon round out the top ten points positions. Let's take a look at the standings. We are closing the gap slightly to Max Verstappen, 46 point gap now, and. We are solidly in second. Constructor standings wise, we are still in the lead. 148 point gap now to Mercedes. So we are solidifying our lead in the constructor standings. Now let's move on to the next and final Grand Prix of today's episode. Welcome one and all to today's Grand Prix here in Southern Russia. A beautiful location besides the Black Sea and a race that has been dominated so far by the Silver Arrows. Mercedes have won here six times in a row since the first Sochi Grand Prix in 2014. Can someone else muscle in on that record here today? With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he starts from pole position. And Daniel Kvyat lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Lucky, Ricardo, Valtteri Bottas and Perez, Hamilton, Leclerc, Albon and Pierre Gasly, Ocon, Aitken, Carlos Sainz and Russell, Schumacher, Norris, Lance Stroll and Antonio Giovinazzi, De Vries, Magnussen, Matsushita and Nicholas Latifi. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. After the points finish last race, let's aim to keep the momentum going. 
Great starting position for the final Grand Prix of the episode. Here we go. Sochi Autodrome P3 start. Of course, the infamous or famous Valtteri Bottas starting position from Drive to Survive Season 3. Five red lights and off we go. Rich and overtake engaged. I think we can overtake Kvyat here, but we'll see. Going around the outside and then switching into the inside as we try to outbreak Kvyat here. A little corner cut because I was I was not given space by Kvyat. But we do take P2. Alright, lap 1 is done. Verstappen is running away with it right now. Two seconds ahead of us. I don't know if we can catch him before DRS is enabled. But we need to try because Kvyat is hot on our tail. Max Verstappen has run away with the Grand Prix by the looks of it. Five seconds ahead of us now and we are closely followed by Kvyat. 0.6 seconds behind us. Let's see if we can maintain P2 here. So far so good. I mean I'm driving pretty well. But Max Verstappen as we've always said since Season 3 he's on a whole new level. There we go, Max Verstappen wins the Grand Prix and we come in second, just ahead of Kvyat, securing P2. Well done, good finish. You stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. Here comes your top three making their way down to the podium for what can only be described as a fantastic day for Formula 1. Another stunning P1 and P2 finish for Sue Motorsport. Max Verstappen was just too quick for us, but we settled for P2 after a stunning start to the Grand Prix. Good qualifying session, a good race overall. Managed P2 pretty well throughout the whole race, keeping Kvyat behind us. Couldn't have asked for a better result today. So here are the results of the Russian Grand Prix. Max Verstappen in P1 with the fastest lap as well. We are in P2 and Kvyat in P3 to round out the podium positions. Ricardo, Bottas, Albon, Perez, Hamilton, Leclerc and Alcon round out the top 10 points positions of today. Now let's take a look at the standings. Max Verstappen extends the gap a little more. 54 point gap now between myself and Max Verstappen. Constructor standings wise we are 178 points ahead of Mercedes and P1. Um, yeah otherwise the standings haven't really changed so we are still solidly in the... Well another video done. Another four Grand Prix over. We are heading into the final four Grand Prix of the season. Now it's where things get a little dicey and things get important. Um, I think the constructor standings is settled. I think if Max Verstappen continues as P1 finish and considering the last four Grand Prix are strong Grand Prix for us, I think we should be in a good standing for the win of the uh, constructor standings. Driver standings wise, I think Max Verstappen has it, but we'll see if we can get good results in the last uh, four Grand Prix to catch up to Max Verstappen just like previous season but we'll see I really don't know but another four Grand Prix done another stunning uh, three podiums and one uh, top 10 position finish uh, next up is the finale so please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe using the red button down below and hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so you're notified when the next video goes live on my channel as always I hope you guys are staying safe and enjoying the videos as much as I am making them so until next time for the finale of season 4 the, the sprint race series please take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time Love again.